Ooh. Let me use some cologne, guys, because for this video, we're gonna make some ambiance. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ibrahim Kamar. If you're new here, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about something that we should have talked about before we even started 2022. But unfortunately, I didn't get to talk about it. And I felt like there was no need for me to talk about it again. But then I noticed that there was need for me to come back to talk about these things because people were still doing these things. And today I'm going to be talking about things you should have left in 2021. And you guys are still doing it, which I think you should end put a stop to it after this video without further ado let's get into the video number one i thought we all like great we're gonna be minding our business in 2022 of course a lot of people are still not minding their business i thought we were gonna stop the not minding our business attitude in 2021 but unfortunately hmm, this 2022 some people are just beginning to get into new levels of not minding their business like first of all learn to mind your business mind your What's your business? It's not everything you have to comment, not everything you have to do as if you see. You know, you might see something and, and pretend not to see it, hear something and pretend not to hear it. And that's how you live. So learn to mind your business this 2022, I feel. It's not even I feel. You must learn how to mind your business in 2020 because if you're not minding your business and you're here poking your nose into our businesses, bro, sis, we're gonna cut your nose off. Jester, you have done it again. I hope YouTube does not flag this, anyways. The second thing on my list is guys, ladies, always with smoking pen, you know, on their snaps every time. I'm tired of saying y'all. I'm tired of saying that y'all with smoking pens on Snapchat or your Insta stories, always, you know, it's popularly known as Shisha. You guys still, every time, just bro we're tired i thought you guys would have left all of that in 2021 but unfortunately you guys are still doing that stop it sis if you want to smoke you can do that privately we don't have to see it on your snap we don't care actually we don't care bro we don't care the third thing on my list is man them asking for followbacks like bro are you kidding me you know you're going to see guys or niggas sliding into my dm and asking or you know not necessarily me but people also experience the same thing or sometimes you post a picture and you see some people please kindly follow back like kindly follow back or they slide they slide into your dm and send you that message please can you just follow me back or maybe you post it ask me any question tag on your insta story and you're always going to be like kindly follow me back like bro what does that even mean what does, does that even count anything why do you need that follow back? Like, is it gonna add any money to your account? No, 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 no. So please stop it. This is 2022. Find something more important to do and find something more important to ask for rather than just asking for follow backs every time. Peace. The fourth thing on my list is it's the so so for me joke. Like, it's the ice for me. Is the wristwatch for me? Is the clothes for me? Is the this for me? Is it that for me? I thought we all agree we're gonna leave that in 2021. Like, I thought we all agree we're gonna do that. Like, guys, ladies, guys, niggas, stop that. Is it this for me? Is it that for me? I'll post a picture, I'll have, you know, I'll have struggled to a date and do everything, you know, get a perfect pose and do everything. And there's gonna be one person somewhere saying, is it this for me? Is it that for me? Bro, stop it, sis, stop it. This is 2022, you need to stop that, right? Stop it. Next on my list is lying. Baby, what the fuck are you gonna be lying? Like, why? You guys, I thought we were gonna leave that in 2021. Like, not, not even we, I thought you guys were gonna leave that in 2021 because why would you be lying? Like, why? As old as you are, as young as you are, or whatever, lying does not even make sense when you get to some stage in your life. Like, it doesn't even speak well of you, it doesn't even say good things about you. Like, lying, why the fuck are you gonna be lying? Why? Stop lying. Stop lying. This is 2022. You have to be truthful and be honest in the most way possible, please. Stop lying! Like, stop it! Next on my list, this one is very, very iconic niggas disturbing other folks girlfriend like guys why would you be disturbing a girl after she tells you she's in a relationship or she's dating someone and you're still going to be disturbing that girl expecting that she would come for you or 
later here to your ed or something i don't get it like why guys if a girl tells you she is in a relationship stop this stopping that girl let her leave there are a lot of girls out there there are a lot of ladies out there there are a lot of babes out there there are a lot of chicks out there you know what i'm saying get outside pick someone on the street you know what to do i don't care don't they stop other people's girlfriends stop it like it's crazy though it's crazy you know it's crazy and it's you got me so stop it the next thing on my list is making snaps to songs you don't know the lyrics it's crazy fam like it is crazy if you don't know the lyrics stop making snaps to those songs it is crazy and if you even want to make a snap of you when they are playing the song somewhere you are you don't have to sing along if you know you don't know the lyrics it looks silly and you got me it looks silly if you don't know the lyrics stop making snaps to those songs and if you even want to make a snap to those songs just Don't, okay? Don't make snaps to songs you don't know. The next thing on my list is private or public life shaming. Like people living private life, people living public life. You know what I mean by that? There's a saying that says private people spend half their lifetime explaining to us how private they are. Like if you are private and there's another person who chooses to live a public life, you know, anywhere they are, they post it. Whatever is happening in their life, they post it. They just want to let you know this is what is going on in my life. It is fine, it is their choice, it is their life, it is their lifestyle, let them leave. Private people should stop shading people like, oh, you are living in public, like, you are too public, please keep something private. It's none of your business, sis. Mind your business that pays your bill. Mind your what's your business. Let them live their public life if that's what they want to do. And if you're living a public life, stop shading people for living a private life and be like, oh, you don't even post anything. It's your birthday. Why don't you post a picture? It's your convocation. Post the picture. Let us know this is what is happening. It's not your business. If they choose to keep it private, let them keep it private. And if they choose to keep it public, let them keep it public. It is none of your business. So let everyone live their lives the way they want to live it. It's none of your business. And it's not. It's not paying your bills, you know. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is quite complicated and quite controversial. But regardless, I have to talk about it. It is asking people about someone you don't see them with anymore and they used to be together before. You know, for instance, maybe in a relationship or probably a friend. Two friends, you happen to see them together all the time. Then you don't see them together anymore. Probably they post themselves every time or they, are, they just show, that, show up that relationship on social media and somehow they don't get to show you that side of the relationship or that side of the friendship anymore and then you start to ask them about that person like what has happened between you guys like is anything wrong are you guys not friends anymore are you still friends with this person are you still friends with that person like sis mind your business mind the business that pays your bill like baby mind your business if people decide not to give you an explanation about why they are not with someone anymore, stop asking about it. Sometimes, some of you assume beef between two people. Like, you don't see them together anymore. You automatically think that they have beef or they are not in a good place. They might be in a good place and they might not be together anymore. It's just simple. Stop asking people about their previous relationships. Stop asking people about your previous friendships. They moved on you also need to move on and by the way they're the people in the friendship they're the people in the relationship not you so let people leave it's crazy honestly and it's very frustrating at times and demeaning because sometimes you don't know that when you ask people about their previous relationships you ask people about their previous friendship that they didn't share with you what happened between them and that person you know sometimes you bring flashbacks you open like a wound they're trying to heal so sometimes you have to stop it even most times stop it don't ask people if they are not willing to share with you. They're not willing to tell you, oh, I'm not with this person anymore. I am not with that person anymore. It's frustrating, it's mental disturbing. So please, guys, stop it. The last and not the least on my list. Mmm. Mmm. Think about it. What a wisdom. <laughs> so the last thing is competing like this is very childish immature and at the same time it is human but, but i think it is high time that we talk about it i thought you guys would have left that in 2021 i think we should celebrate ourselves more than competing like you guys should stop competing stop competing with people if you see someone doing well than you 
Don't compete with that person, rather think of how to collaborate with that person. If you see someone achieving things that you wanted to achieve and you're not, you have not been able to achieve it, rather ask, approach that person, ask questions like how have you been able to do this and I'm not able to do it. Rather than thinking of how to compete with that person, I'm going to do my own, I need to start. No, it's better for us to collaborate and have competition. And by the way, my darling, you can't compete. My love, you can't compete. Have a wonderful night. You can't. So for these reasons, try as much as possible not to compete with people because sometimes when people share their authentic story before they got to what you were trying to compete with them for, you'd actually pity them and you'd actually be grateful for them getting that thing. So please don't compete with people and be yourself. Do whatever you think would work for you. Don't compete with people. Do you. Collaborate with people. Everybody wants to have a sense of competition at times. So please shut it off. Shut it out whenever he wants to come to you and do your best to be the perfect person you are meant to be. Thank you guys for watching. I've come to the end of this video. If you like it, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Comment down below. I want to hear from you. What are things that you think people should have left in 2021 and they're still doing it? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys another time. Please follow me on my social media pages on Instagram, Ibrahim Kamar, on Twitter, Ibrahim Kamar, Facebook, Ibrahim Kamar, Snapchat, the only Kamar. The only camera, no other person. <laughs> so please remember to follow me on my social media pages and please subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 300 guys and I can't wait for us to get to 1,000 and after 1,000, 10,000 and after 10,000, 50,000 and after 50,000, 100,000 and we're going to be a big family. Thank you so much guys for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll catch you guys on another video soon. It's the consistency for me guys. Like you know I've been consistent on here and I look forward to seeing you guys very soon. Kisses, watch love. Thank you.